Next up, it's time for us to move on to the next segment, which is called Rapid Fires. In this segment, I'll be asking my guests biased questions they've got asked at some point in life, and also some common biased questions Asians get asked a lot. So, Daisy, are you ready for other questions? Let's go. <laughs> First question: Where are you really from? The cosmos. <laughs> What does that even mean? Exactly. <laughs> where I'm born, where I'm at. Uh, yeah, I really don't understand that question. Really, from next up, you don't have an accent when you speak English. Everyone has an accent. That's just wrong. Yeah, that's true. I think that's what's really amazing because you know you're so. Oh, the the people who say that, um, they they often have this kind of that really shows how uh, whether it's Eurocentric or you know I don't know uh, wherever centric they are. You know, you don't have one. Everyone has one. It's like, how does that even make sense? I, I don't.、Mm. And next question: Are you mixed race because you speak English? Yeah. Again, this is like mind blowing.、Uh, you know, we learn different languages. We speak different languages, and it's all learned. You know, it's also this like this thing of. You know this idea of mother tongue. What you you know some people talk about it as if it's, it's what your mother speaks. It's like、mm, not really. You know I think we, we we just need to pay attention to the the, the possibilities of、um, of acquiring an, a language and being proficient in it is not something that is natural, right? It, we 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 put effort into it. It's just what comes first.、Um, next up, you don't look Chinese. Right,、um, that's something that I get asked. I got asked that in Chongqing Mansions the other day. <laughs> I was trying to get some spices, and for those I guess who don't know where Chongqing Mansions is, it's this like place in Chimsha Chai, really right downtown in Hong Kong, where a lot of ethnic minorities gather.、Um, it's 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 a place of trade. It's a place of you know、uh, of, of of trade for like African.、Um, Businessmen、uh, for fabric, for mobile phones, for you know a lot of things. But fascinating place.、Um, and I was there to get some spices, and and the shopkeeper just like insisted, it's like you don't look Chinese. And I really didn't know how to answer him. I was like, but I am. It's like, but you don't look, and and the way you 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 talk and stuff. And so I guess what that means is that very often, again, there is this very narrow perception of what a Hong Kong Chinese look like and should behave like, and and he's almost expecting a particular、uh, way of interacting with me.、Um, I think that's that's more what he's really trying to say.、Uh, so I think the look is really I. I understand it as a, a a pack and package, right? Like it's 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 how you present yourself and how you relate to the other person. Finally, this last question: It happened during SARS. Go、yeah. back home. Yeah, yeah. This was this was shocking. I was living in Paris at that time, teaching English as a foreign language. And I was going to the supermarket, and usually outside supermarkets there are quite a lot of、um, homeless people, where、uh, either、um, trying to ask for money or to get some change or selling、um, magazines to help sustain their livelihoods. But it was during SARS, and it was a time when you know having a Chinese face meant that、um, you were automatically, you know. Profiled as someone that is carrying a disease, and I think this pandemic also sort of、uh, brought back a lot of that racial profiling, right? Which was very、um, detrimental to a lot of、uh, people.、Um, and so, yeah, it was really shocking, you know, coming from a homeless guy trying to ask for money, but also saying that I should go back to where I'm from,、um, and that was really my my one of the most、um, Vivid memories that I have of experiencing racism, and it was not something that I could process very easily,、uh, and it stayed with me.、Um, I also did not know how to react because, you know, it's not. It just came out so freely. <laughs> it was just dished out so freely,、um, and no one stepped in. <laughs> right, also. 
It's sad to still hear these kind of comments and questions coming our way, but thank you so much for addressing these questions for our listeners, Daisy. Thanks, Isabel. It was um, yeah, 